Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back to another virtual open house. Today, we're on the southeast side of the city. We're in the beautiful community of Laurel. Today, we're at 1495 33 A Street, this beautiful single family home with a double detached garage. And better yet, it does have a secondary suite in the basement. Side entry is still yet to be cut out, but definitely you have the option to do so on this property. It holds so many key factors in it that are so desirable. But before we get into the home details, let's talk about a bit about this neighborhood. Right now we're in Laurel. It is right nearby all of our new local schools. We have all local shopping centers, local amenities like your grocery stores, restaurants, every single thing that you possibly need is in this area. So easily accessible. If you're coming off of the Anthony Hendy, you're gonna take the 17th Street exit. If you're coming west, it's super, super easy in that way to come into the neighborhood. This neighborhood in general is super family friendly. You have a lot to do. Neighbors are super, super nice. It's a great community to raise some kids in as well. Very, very tight knit. Um, so one of the really nice neighborhoods here in Edmonton as well. But if you have any further questions about the neighborhood, feel free to drop them down below or shoot me a DM. I'm happy to answer them all over there. But let's take a look at 1495 33A Street. This property is a single detached property. You do have a double detached garage on the property. It does have a fully finished basement as well. And guess what? You have a suite in the basement. Uh, this property is not a legal suite. You don't have a side entry, but you do have the option to build one on it. So that's another plus about this property. It offers two kitchens. What more could you really need packed into that space? All right, without further ado, let's take a look inside. And again, if you have any further questions, drop them down below, shoot me a DM, and happy to get back to you. Let's take a look on the street though before we head in as well. Um, as you can see, these are all detached single family homes. They all have detached garages as well. Whether it's a single detached garage or a double detached garage, or even a parking pad, they all kind of vary. Uh, but the bonus about these homes is that it's not a duplex. You're not attached to anybody right next door, um, like we see if we go further down the street. So right now we are on 14th Avenue and 33th Street, but if we go a little bit further down, you'll notice you have all of the duplexes and multifamily there. If you're comparing both a duplex and a single family home, even though your duplex may have a double attached or single attached garage, having a single family home with a garage still holds more value. All right, coming back to 1495 33A Street, as you can see, you do have all of your landscape already done this place. You have all of your trees, your shrubs, your grass, your trees, rocks, everything is already pre-done on it. It is a move-in turnkey home. If you want to rent out the basement, you definitely can, and you do have the option to do the entry on it in that case as well. Or if you're looking to have your extended family live in the home, you have the option to have them in the basement. Coming into this home, you have one, two, three steps up to your main front porch. And then you have a nice, huge porch on this thing. This is actually one of my personal favorite styles about this type of property is because you can have a nice bistro table over here. You're able to relax, enjoy if you guys have some kids. It's a great space where you're able to sit down, relax, and watch the kids. Play, or if you wanted to have some coffee in the morning, hang out, or watch the sunrise, you definitely have that option as well. Again, super tight knit community, so if you're wanting to hang out with your neighbors, you have the option to do so as well with this home. Um, and then if you're looking at exterior finishes, we have all cultured stone as well as vinyl finishing. You have a mix of that uh, darker brown and the beige put together. And then we, from the main front porch, we're gonna head into the actual main home. Ah, come on inside, let's show you around. All right, welcome in. 1495 33 Street, come on in. This property, as you can see, has a 
super open concept. There's no barricading walls, there's no obstructions, nothing like that. It has a great flow to the property. So you come in and you do have your main front foyer area. It's a great space over here for your big mat. You also have a nice little bench area over here for you to take your shoes off, um, put them back on if you need to, and then you do have another closet. So this is a great space, just like you can see, you have your shoes, your coats, your jackets, all of that organized nicely and tucked away over here. Uh, but remember, this is just your front entryway. You also have a back entrance from where your garage is coming from. So this is predominantly going to be the area where your friends, family, company, they're all going to be coming in. And then from your front foyer area, you're going to transition into your living room. Again, super big size. Right now we have a big sectional placed inside of it. You can definitely do another sectional, you can do another couch, you could do some love seats into here, really modify and dress up the way that your family um, requirements fit most to. And then off of this living room area as well, is you have this huge big picture window, which is overlooking the front of your home. So that's also right off of your porch as well. It opens right up, it's a great flow as well. So from our living room area, we are going to transition into our dining room area as well. Notice on the entire main floor, it's all hardwood. Upstairs it does run carpet, but the main floor is all finished off with hardwood. And then we come into our dining room area over here. We have a drop down chandelier, and this is actually quite a large space. Right now they have a table for four, but you can easily get a table for six if you really wanted to. Um, and again, really, really good flow of space. It's super open, really airy. And then from our dining room area, we come right into our kitchen. So our kitchen is done up in this beautiful espresso cabinetry. We have an island right in the middle. We have all of our stainless steel appliances, your dishwasher, your stove, your oven, your hood pan, your fridge. All of that is done. Um, you just have all of your backsplash and then a double basin sink with a window overlooking the backyard. So in the backyard here, we do have a double detached garage. You have a deck already done. Landscaping is done at the back as well. Um, and if we're talking about the flow in our kitchen, it's actually really well laid out. We have our sink on the side, area on the side. We have another island and then areas for um, bar stools to be, be added as well if you want to serve on here. A really nice feature that I don't see a lot of in um, these types of homes is this area. So this is almost like a secondary pantry or storage space. It's a built-in kind of credenza where you have storage running all throughout the bottom, another counter space, great for adding any of your breakfast appliances, your toasters, your blenders, anything like that. And then you have all of the sanitary at the top as well, great for extra storage. So in regards to the flow of the kitchen, I actually really, really like the layout. Um, it's very functional, has a lot of space, it's not missing any components that are usually really desirable by any families. Before we head into the backyard, I wanted to show you our main bedroom area. So from our backyard, we have our double detached garage, our deck, we come into our bedroom area over here where you're able to take your shoes and jackets off, and you have your second closet. This is where again, you put your shoes, your jackets, and of your cup up, snow stuff, all of that, shut off that backyard, and then you have your half bathroom on the main floor. You have a pedestal sink. You also have your toilet and that. Um, so really, really good. And the nice thing about why I like having a half bath at the back of the home is because right when you get out uh, or when you're coming back home, you want to wash your hands, it's right easily accessible there rather than going right through your entire home. So from our bedroom area, we're gonna head outside. Outside, you can see it is fully landscaped. You do have your deck already done. Definitely needs another coat of paint. Uh, but I mean, I think that is definitely a summer project that any of the new buyers can tackle on. Um, outside, again, has all of your vinyl exterior, plus your double detached garage as well, just on that side. Both sides are fenced off. Um, so that's another bonus because you're not going to need to do that as well. 
and we're back inside. All right, how do you guys like it so far? This is one of the smaller properties that we have toured um, this month. So I wanted to kind of get your feedback to see. Right now we're seeing 1,325 square feet. I need to have a fully finished basement as well. In regards to price, this property is sitting at 428,800. It does have a secondary suite downstairs. I'm gonna show you where you're able to build your side entry because right now this home does not have that. But you definitely have the option to do so. So this is where the back of the home is, or sorry, not the back of the home, sorry, where your basement is going to be. So your basement's running here. If you wanted to add in your step entry, you're going to be adding it right in here, and then you're going to close this space off. So you're going to build your side entry right through there. That's where your door is going to go. You're going to close this off, and then they will get entry right into the basement kind of that way. So let's tour upstairs and then I'm going to swing you downstairs. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, let's go and take a look. Look, we're already down here. Let's take a peek downstairs. Come on. So your side entry will come through here if you choose to build it. And then we're heading downstairs. All the uh, risers are done in laminate already. And then we come into our main living room right now. We have a bed in it. However, it is predominantly going to be your living space. You do have your washer and dryer on this side. From here, you're going to be able to come into another furnace room area. So all of your furnace room area is there. Plus, take a look at your washer and dryer. Your washer and dryer, your living room space, your electrical room, and then we have our four piece bathroom on this side. So you have your shower tub combo, you do have your toilet, you do have your sink, and then from there we come to our kitchen area. So our kitchen area is done up with a sink, you have your stove, you have your oven, you have your fridge. Head fan, cabinetry. And then if you want to add another piece of table over here, you definitely have the option. And then it comes into some storage space on the other side as well. Alrighty, so that completes our base area. It does have your living area, your kitchen, you have your four piece bathroom, you do have laundry down here, storage, your mechanical room. So that finishes that this space to tire off. And again, you do have the option to finish off a side entry if you did want to do that as well. Alrighty, so we've toured the main floor, we've toured the basement. All that's left now is upstairs. Alright, let's swing upstairs. So upstairs, we're going to find it all carpeted. The main floor was all done in hardwood. The basement was all done in laminate. Upstairs is all done in carpet. So you have three rooms, a medium of flooring. Come on, let's jump upstairs. Alright. Upstairs here, you're going to find three bedrooms and you're also going to find a bathroom as well. Let's jump into our primary bedroom here. So primary bedroom is quite large. You have a huge size closet on this side. You also have a queen size bedroom in here. Now, if we are looking at this, if we remove this closet, you do have entry into that common bathroom. So you do have that. However, if you wanted to keep this closet space here, you also have another option because you have an attached ensuite. So you have two different options here. This is your three-piece ensuite. Down up shower, toilet, and vanity. You have all laminate flooring in the ensuite and then carpet inside. And then from our primary bedroom here, we do have the bathroom. So this is your common bathroom, four piece. You have your toilet, your shower, a combo, vanity, your sink.
Then from there, we're gonna jump into bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, again, super decent size. It has a view of the backyard. You do have a great size closet in here as well. You can easily fit in a double bed in here. You can put a night table, um, maybe even another dresser inside of here as well. So really decently sized. That's gonna overlook the backyard with your double detached garage. Here's the closet in this room. And then we will jump into bedroom number three. So bedroom number three, you're gonna notice you can easily fit in another double bed. You have another desk area on this side. Same view as the one that we saw in the previous room. And then you have your closet as well. All right, well that wraps up the entire tour of this property. 1995 Street. This property is currently listed for 428800 Offers you over 1325 square feet on two floors. Plus, you have a fully finished basement with a second kitchen as well. You have a double detached garage in the property and it involves lots of more features as well. If you have any further questions, please feel free to uh, shoot them down below or shoot me a DM. See you in the next one.